Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I am taking part in another collab with Jan and Shawnee. And of course, I'll have their channels linked in my description box. Jan and Shawnee are two of my very dearest friends. I love them so very much. And we have a group text and we text each other off and on all day, every day. And the other day, I just felt this very sappy need to just reach out to both of them in our group text and let them know how much I love both of them and how very special both of them are to me. Truly, they are just the most beautiful women inside and out. They're there for me when I need a friend. I always want to be there for them when they need someone. And Jan and I are officially mama bears to Shawnee. We are going to protect her from the ills of the world at all costs. So today's collab is going to be another Q&A. And this is all about our pet peeves, what annoys us the most in life. And I came up with 30 questions for us to answer. I'm not sure if Jan and Shawnee are going to answer all of these questions because they're grouped into like three question groups. So they may just be doing one or two or all of them. I'm not sure yet. So you'll definitely have to go to their channels and watch their videos if you haven't yet already and see if they answer all the questions or just some of the questions. But you know me, I'm a little extra. So I'm going to answer all of the questions today. And, you know, I do try to be a very positive person. That, that's my goal is to be positive and happy and just exude sunshine out into the world. But there are things in this life that drive me berserk and that make me very annoyed, very irritated. And uh, I, I do express that annoyance and irritance at times. So the first group of 10 questions is what annoys you when you're at a certain place? So we'll, I'll read these questions. It'll make more sense. What annoys you when, number one, you're at the grocery store? And what really annoys me when I'm at the grocery store is when someone stands in the middle of the aisle with their cart, just standing there, just standing there staring at whatever they're staring at on the shelves, but like, not actively shopping, getting what they need, and then putting it in their cart and moving on. Because it's always like, I need to get behind the person to like grab a box of granola bars or cereal or whatever it is. And they're just standing there right in my way. And I know they can tell I'm standing there, but they're just not, they're like either totally oblivious or they don't give two poops about the fact that someone needs to get where they're at. Oh, it drives me nuts. Number two, in traffic, people that cannot drive the speed limit either go too slow or go too fast. I don't wanna to have to be right behind someone that cannot go the speed limit, they're going too slow. And I also cannot stand up when someone's right on my butt. Both of those. Mm. Number three, at the hair or nail salon. At the hair salon, it's when it takes too long. I used to see this girl that did such an amazing job on my hair, I just loved her. But she would talk the whole time she was doing my hair and she couldn't talk and work at the same time. So I would typically be there for about four hours. And because I've had four back surgeries, sitting in those chairs, the salon chairs, I uh, I would be in pain by the time she was done doing my hair. And I do remember the last time I saw her, she moved away. But the last time I saw her, I said, we can't talk. We just can't talk. I just want you to do my hair so I can get out of here. I can't be here for four hours. I felt kind of bad, but I just <laughs> couldn't do it. And then at the nail salon is when the person goes too fast, one or the other. But I just had my nails done. And the guy, I mean... They look okay from far away, but when you get real close up, they, he didn't do a very good job because he just blew through the nail job. I was like, hey, dude, slow down. Do a good job, please. Number four, in a movie theater, when people talk during the movie, like during the previews, you can talk and laugh and get up and hoot and holler all you want. But when the movie starts, sit your butt down on the chair and zip it. And so when I hear people talking a lot or laughing super loud or like just having a personal conversation right in the middle of the movie, I really do get annoyed. Number five, at a restaurant. Uh, poor customer service. I don't like that. That irritates me. Or if I see a patron at the restaurant being an absolute ass to the wait staff, I don't like that either. And I've actually said something to somebody before who was, he was just being an absolute jerk to the waitress. And I'm like, you know, she's working her butt off for you. Could you at least be nice? He didn't like that. Uh, number six, in a public bathroom, when people don't wash their hands. Oh. I cannot stand it when I come out of the stall and I go up to wash my hands and then someone comes out of the stall behind me and just walks right out of the bathroom. I'm like, you need to wash your hands, my friend. Number seven, at work. Uh, I would say th sometimes I talk to pretty rude people at insurance companies because I have to do a lot of like benefit checking. And actually I called an insurance company yesterday 
and was getting some information about some newly hired folks that we were credentialing. And I ended up hanging up on this woman because she was so rude. And I waited like, I don't know, a couple hours and called back. And typically when you call back, you get somebody else, but not me. I got the same exact person. And she goes, oh, somehow we were disconnected. Are you okay? I'm like, you're not going to be okay when I get off the phone with you, lady. Number eight on a trip just when things don't go smoothly, that irritates me. Or also traveling with someone that's super picky or nitpicky or never happy. I don't like that either. Uh, number nine, at the mall. Going to the mall annoys me. I'm not a good shopper. I, I want to go to the store, get whatever it is I'm getting, and then get the hell out of there. So if I go with other people, like when my mom was living, she and I would go shopping quite often together. And she's one of those people that wants to touch everything and look at every size of everything and go into every single store. And I'm like, mother, put a, put a move on it. Let's go. So just going to the mall annoys me. Number 10, at the doctor's or dentist's office, having to wait. I'm not a patient person at all. And there's been times I've gone to the doctor or the dentist and had to sit out in the waiting room for like an hour. Or another thing that bugs me at the doctor's office is when they take you into the room and they say, the doctor will be right with you. And then you're sitting there for another 45 minutes. Ugh. So the next group of questions, there's another 10 questions, is what annoys you more of these behaviors in others? Number one, scraping silverware while eating or picking food out of teeth with a fork. Picking food out of teeth with a fork. The silverware clanking, I, I don't love that, but that's kind of what happens when people eat, when they scrape their fork on their plate though. My son used to do that. I'm like, you will be eating out on the back porch if you don't stop doing that. But really if someone is picking food out of their teeth at the table, I uh -uh. Number two, chewing food with mouth open or jaw popping while eating. Ooh, both of those sound just so fun, don't they? Both, I mean, I don't know that one annoys me more than the other. I mean, some people can't help it that their jaw pops when they eat. Like my dad's jaw pops when he eats and I'm just used to it. So I guess chewing with mouth open would be more annoying to me, I guess. Number three, loud snoring or teeth grinding. Well, I do both. I snore and I grind my teeth. How fun. Uh, but I don't like it when I hear other people do that. My son, when he was like in grade school, would grind his teeth so loud that at one point I thought someone was trying to break into his bedroom. And I went flying into his bedroom thinking somebody was like squeaking the window open. No, he was just grinding his teeth. And actually my daughter has re video recorded me grinding my teeth in my sleep. I think when she was in high school and it's awful. It's awful. I was like, how do I even have teeth left in my mouth? Uh, but I, I know I do snore. I've woken myself up snoring before. My husband snores pr pretty loud. So both of those things I think an annoy me equally. Number four is coughing without covering your mouth or repeatedly clearing your throat. I would say coughing without covering your mouth. Somebody that does that. I, I, ugh. And I used to teach preschool and we would teach the kids to cough in their elbow like this instead of, you know, because you don't want germs all over your hands either. So when I see somebody cough in their elbow, I want to give them a high five. I'm like, good for you. Uh, number five, leaving all the lights on or leaving all the cupboard doors open. My kids used to do both. They would leave every single light in this house on. I would come home from work, like, you know, they'd go to school after I went to work and I'd come home and all the lights would be on and all the cupboard doors would be open. <laughs> and we'd have these like real serious sit down talks about it. And the next day they do the same thing. So I started grounding them or taking their phones away or, you know, just stuff like that because I just didn't like it. Both of those things really irritate me. And eventually they learned. And now my daughter is like, tells her husband all the time, will you turn all the lights off? Number six, drinking directly out of the milk carton or backwashing. <laughs> my husband sometimes drinks directly out of the milk carton. My son used to do that too. I, that, I mean, I don't love that, but it's not as big of a deal to me as backwashing. Backwashing is so disgusting. I'll never forget, uh, my daughter and I had gone to the park and she was eating a granola she was like four or five and she was thirsty and I had a water bottle and she came up to drink out of my water bottle and like spit half the granola bar into the water bottle. <laughs> like, ugh, gross. Number seven, driving too slow or too fast. I can't stand either. I don't want anyone to drive too slow. I don't want anyone to drive too fast. I can drive too fast, but I don't like it when other people drive too fast. I just want people to drive the speed limit. So both of those irritate me. Number eight, getting unsolicited advice or someone always having to one up you. I would say the one up you thing is more irritating to me. Like unsolicited advice, I'm just like, oh, okay, thank you, mm -hmm, and move on with my life. But when someone tries to like one up you or always are, tries to be better than you are at something, that gets a little obnoxious. 
Number nine, a know-it-all or acts like they don't know anything. Both of those are irritating. I worked with a woman in the dental field who acted truthfully like she knew nothing, like she didn't know any of the protocols at our office ever. And so anytime you'd go ask her a question, she'd say, well, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. And oh, that used to drive me nuts. But then I started thinking about it. Well, then people stop asking her to do stuff because she acts like she doesn't know what she's doing. But I also don't like know-it-alls either. I really don't. So I don't, again, I don't know if I can pick one or the other. Number 10, the last one here is gum chewing, snapping, cracking, or knuckle cracking. Neither, neither one of those really bother me. I do both of those things. I snap and crack my gum and I also pop my knuckles. I'm a real fun person to be around. The last group of 10 questions here are just answering the following questions. So number one is, what is the most annoying sound in the world? I cannot stand the sound of cardboard rubbing together. Like when somebody folds up a cardboard box, that sound just makes the hair on the back of my neck stand out. I almost gag. I hate that sound. And also, of course, nails on a chalkboard. Mm, don't like that. And I don't like when little kids whine either. When my kids would whine when they were little, I just look at them and say, my ears cannot hear that sound. I, I can hear that you're making sound, but I, I, I can't hear it. So when you can use your normal, regular, wonderful voice that you have, let me know and I can hear you. Number two, has anyone ever annoyed you so much you had to end your relationship with them? Yeah, I mean, I, I remember going on dates with guys like in college that just annoyed me so badly that I never saw them again. And uh, have I ever ended like a friendship over being annoyed with someone? I mean, I've ended friendships over being hurt by what someone did or how they behaved and maybe annoyance as part of that. I don't know. Number three, what do you think is the most annoying part of social media? Ooh, I'm going to do a whole video about this here pretty soon. Uh, not necessarily what the most annoying thing about social media is, but just uh, the thing that I think is annoying, which is all the negativity. It's such a negative place. It can be. Sometimes it's not. And, well, a lot of times it's not. And I kind of like filter out the negative stuff I don't want to see, which is wonderful to be able to do that. And, you know, like on YouTube or Instagram, you know, if, if I am subscribed to someone that's super negative or someone posts a lot of stuff on Instagram that's super negative, I just don't, you know, I'll just unfollow the person or hide or mute them or whatever it's called. Um, but I, I just feel like social media has become such a negative place, negative space. So I, I am going to be doing a video about that because it just really irritates me. It really does. Like, can anyone ever just be positive anymore? Number four, does anything annoy you about the beauty community on YouTube or Instagram? And if so, what? That's also going to be a part of that other video I was just talking about. The cattiness the competitiveness, the comparativeness that goes on on YouTube and on Instagram really irritates me. I think it's so unnecessary. And I feel like, you know, most of us anyway, I mean, we're all adults, right? So the fact that people will compare themselves to others or try to compete with others, uh, the nasty things that get said, uh, the rumors that get spread, you know, just all of that stuff. It's just so... Uh, and there was a, a point in time where I almost thought, I don't know that I want to keep doing YouTube because I would hear so much of that around me that just competitive and, well, I don't do this. Well, they do this. And, well, da, 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 da. and I thought, Ugh, I don't want to be involved in any of that. But I just thought, you know, you don't have to be involved in it. Just stay out of it. And so I'm still here and I plan on being here for a long, long time. But yeah, the, a video about all of this stuff is going to be coming soon. Number five, when you get annoyed, how do you express that? I'll roll my eyes, I sigh, I tap my leg. Uh, I don't know, I get real quiet sometimes too. Like when I get really irritated, I'll get really quiet. And my husband will say, did I do something to irritate you? Or are you irritated about something? Cause I'll just shut up. But usually it's the eye rolling or sighing or I'll go, ugh, like, you know, kind of grunt. <laughs> Number six, what is something that annoyed you when you were young, but now you don't care about and vice versa? Something that annoyed me when I was young. Um, having to go to bed early really annoyed me when I was young. Now I love to go to bed early. <laughs> like my husband, uh, this week and last week, he has to get up earlier uh, to get to work earlier because they're really, really busy right now. And so he's been going to bed earlier. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I, I beat him to bed. I'm like, good night. I'm like, we're going to bed. Woohoo! But when I was a kid. Oh, I couldn't stand to go to bed early. Like if the if it was still light outside and my mom would put me in bed, I'd be like, oh, I hate you. 
And then something that annoys me now that didn't used to annoy me. Um, I don't know. I guess social media, because we didn't have social media when I was growing up. And social media can be, a, a obviously I just talked about it, can be a source of annoyance for me. And when I was young, I had no frame of reference for that. So uh, number seven, what is the most annoying part of your daily routine? Taking a shower. Like on the weekends, I usually don't shower because I just don't want to go get in the shower. It just seems like, again, I have to do this again. I don't know, it's so weird. And then like, you know, drying my hair and all this stuff. I just want to be a lazy bum on the weekends, usually. I mean, if I'm going somewhere, I'll shower. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I'll just slick my hair back into a greasy ponytail, throw my slits on and I'm out the door. But yeah, I just, you know, I just wish you could just wake up clean, you know? Number eight, what is an annoying habit that you have? Well, I pop my knuckles and I pop and snap my gum. I'm sure that's very annoying. And also, I'm very touchy-feely with people. I mentioned that, I think, in my last collab with Jan and Shawnee. I just love to touch people. And that can be really annoying to people. I don't touch complete strangers, although I'm really guilty of when I see a pregnant woman, I just want to go and attack her. And... Luckily, when my daughter was pregnant, she let me just go bonkers touching her tummy and talking to her tummy and kissing her tummy. Uh -huh. But I do ask now, rather than just accosting us, someone that's pregnant, I will say, can I, can I touch your tummy? And, you know, I would say like 95% of people say yes, but I do just touch very lightly and then take my hand off. I used to be like, let's rub and massage. And they're like, get off me, weirdo. So I have I have now reined that in. That's, that's good. I don't want to get arrested for accosting a pregnant woman's tummy. Number nine, what is the most annoying catchphrase or cliche? I struggle with it is what it is. I, I know a lot of people say that. My kids say it. My husband says it. I will typically say it isn't what it isn't just to irritate them because to me, it's such a like obvious, like redundant thing to say. It is what it is. Well, of course it is what it is. What else is it going to be? Question 10. The last question here is what is your all time biggest pet peeve? My all time biggest pet peeve. Ooh, I, I think people just not being nice to each other, people being ignorant, people being just jackasses, basically. That is my biggest pet peeve. And, you know, I obviously have come into contact with really ignorant, uneducated people who have no desire to be non-ignorant or to educate themselves. And it just always blows my mind that those kind of people exist in the world. It just does. Uh, also, I'm so impatient that anything that makes me wait is my biggest pet peeve too. And you know, that's so dumb because who the hell am I? Like, I'm not some, you know, important person that everyone needs to hop to and move out of my way and drive faster or this or that. So I'm, I am working on that. I really am trying to find some patience. So those were my answers to the bajillion questions I came up with for the What Annoys Us or Our Pet Peeves collab with Shawnee and Jan. I cannot wait to go and watch their videos and see which questions they answered because I'm not sure that both of them are going to answer all of these but like I said at the beginning I am so extra I will answer a million questions if you give them to me but I cannot wait to hear their answers and another wonderful fabulous special marvelous collab experience with these two amazing special women and I am just honored and blessed to call them both my friends I just love them so much and if you guys have not yet gone to their channels and you haven't fallen in love with Jan and Shawnee like I have please go do it. Do yourself a huge favor. Go to both of their channels. Subscribe. You will. I know you will fall madly in love with both of them. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing. Smash the like button. And of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy. I'll see you soon. Bye. Drop it.